A pleasant welcome to all. Now we are going to study about computer system organization. Video lecture and e-content created by R.D. Sivakumar, M.Sc. M.Phil. M.Tech, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Assistant Professor and Head Department of M.Com. C.A. Ayanadar Janike Mall College, Sivagasi. Mobile 099440-42243. Email sivamrcsit at gmail.com. Website www.rdsivakumar.blackspot.in Computer System Organization Definition A modern general purpose computer system consists of one or more CPU devices, controllers, common bus and memory. Bootstrap program includes ROM, Interrupt. Bootstrap program, ROM, for a computer to start, running its needs an in initial program to run called bootstrap program. It is stored in read only, only memory or electrically erasable programmable read only memory known by firmware. The bootstrap program load the operating system and to start executing that system. Storage structure. Storage structure consisting of registers, main memory and magnetic disk primary storage secondary storage primary storage main memory is a volatile storage device programs and data cannot be reside in main memory permanently computer programs must be in main memory to be executed instruction execution cycle a instruction execution cycle first fetches an instruction from memory and stores that instruction in the instruction register. The instruction is then decoded and stored in some internal register. After the instruction is executed, the result may be stored back into memory. Main memory. Main memory consists of array of words. The load instructions moves the word from main memory to registers. The store instructions moves the content of a registers to main memory. Secondary storage. The most common secondary devices is magnetic disk. Magnetic disk hold large quantities of data permanently. Example, floppy disk, CD, pen drive, hard disk. Interrupt. The occurrence of an event is signaled by an interrupt from either the hardware or the software. Hardware may trigger an interrupt by sending a signal to the CPU by system bus. Software may trigger an interrupt by executing a special operation called system call. Interrupt service routine. When the CPU is interrupted, it transfers executions to a fixed location. This location contains the starting address where the service routine for the interrupt is located. Then the interrupt service Routine executes Input output structure Data transfer between the CPU and input output devices handled data transfer in three ways. The first way is programmed input and output and the second way is interrupt initiated input and output and the third way is direct memory access. Programmed input and output In programmed input and output the CPU sends the head command to input output devices and wait in the program loop until it receives response from input and output devices. Interrupt initiated input and output. In interrupt initiated input and output, the CPU sends the head command to input and output devices and then go on to do some useful work. When the input and output device is ready, the input and output device sends an interrupt signal to the CPU. Then the CPU read the word from input and output device. Direct memory access. The DMA. The DMA controller takes over the buses to manage the transfer directly between the input and output devices and memory. Thank you.